Hey, what's up everybody? VR Gamer Dude here, and today we're saving New Austin. That's right. So today we're going to be taking a look at Scraper First Strike, and man, let me tell you, I've been really excited to play this ever since I heard about it at OC5. I want to thank Hunter from Labradex. I met him out at OC5, awesome guy. He told me all about the game and uh, hooked me up with this cool t-shirt. So uh, it finally released, and I gotta say, I played a little last night, and I'm not hating on this game. Now, I'm also going to be doing something different today. I'm going to be playing this in the uh, Samsung Odyssey Plus. I, I picked one of those up on the Black Friday deal. This will be the first time I've played a game with it on camera. Uh, just going to kind of test it out and see how it goes. But so far, not hating on this either. And I'll talk more about that in a later video. So let's jump in and let's take a look at Scraper First Strike. Okay, so it looks like the first thing it wants us to do is to select a system to play on. Now, I do have all three of these systems now, but uh, for tonight, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, do the uh, WMR. I'm going to test drive the Odyssey Plus here. This will be the first video I've done with gameplay of the Odyssey Plus. I will be doing a, a little bit more in-depth look at it, uh, uh, you know, here in a future video, but I'll, I'll talk a little bit about it during this one as well. Well, I'm sure. So, all right, let's go ahead and select M WMR and uh, confirm and get started. Okay, so it looks like we do have some options that we can mess with here. Now, I have already turned a lot of this stuff off, like the helmet HUD, the vignette, the snap rotation, teleportation, all of that. But it is nice that it is included, so if you do suffer from motion sickness, I highly recommend keeping those on. Uh, for me, I'm a vet. Man, I've been doing this a long time. I don't get sick. So I, I am going to turn those off and uh, tailor the gameplay to my liking, which is very cool. So thank you, Labradex, for putting that in there. Um, all right. Now, um, I did play a little bit of this last night, but I think we're, I, I really haven't played that much. So I think we're just going to go ahead and start a new game. And here we go. Episode one, first strike. The city of New Austin has been completely shut down by Cypher, the twisted humec who once gave so much for humankind. Your mission is to travel through and power on Reactor 3, thereby strengthening the humec resistance force and aiding us in beginning to take back New Austin. All right, man, I'm all about taking back New Austin. I, I used to live in Austin, Texas, actually, so, you know, let's see, see some of my old stomping grounds. I highly doubt it. All right, let's go. Reactor building three, sky deck and Sup, boys? HRF command post. Man. Maxwell, it's Harvey. How you holding up down there, buddy? Um, I, I'm pretty good, man. Up here on the flight deck. It's a beautiful view of the city. I'm digging it. We're entering Humic controlled airspace. Let's hope this stolen Humic dropship serves its purpose. All right, boys, stay frosty. After all the planning, can you believe the day is finally here to take back New Austin? Hell yeah, man. Initiating preliminary stealth landing protocols. All right, let's do that stealth thing. Right now. now, don't go calling it a hunk of junk. It may not be first class, but <laughs> it'll get the job done. Hey, it ain't about the pod, it's about the driver, buddy. It's so quiet up here. You never know the city's under human control. Deactivating ILS. Man, I'm digging this. We're almost there, buddy. The show's about to start. It's already got kind of a cinematic nature starting, and, I, and I'm loving that. All right, diagnostic time. Check your wrist interface. Just All right. your wrist and press the function button. Use at any time to check your pod status. You can use it to access all kinds of things. Reports, inventory, status, tactical readouts. You know, wrist. Just like wrist, uh, mm -hmm. except without the W. <laughs> Clever, huh? All right, very cool. So here's our stats, inventory, the codex. Uh, all right, so good to know. Maintain current heading. 
Man, I gotta, you know, I, I will have to hand it to Samsung, um, and like I said, I'll get into more of that when I do my full Odyssey Plus video, but uh, other than the comfort, God, the screen on this looks good. Um, I did play this the other night in my Rift, and it, it, it still was great. I mean, and, and obviously the tracking was better, but it, it, uh, there's something about this anti-SD screen. The SD is still there, but <laughs> you can barely see it. All right, so now we have our pod. So interestingly enough, th this is not a, an FPS game. It's it's not a, a run and gun first person shooter, but it is an FPS game. But you're you're kind of rolling around in this pod, which is a very interesting game mechanic. So, all right, let's see here. Calibrate the pod. Let's see. yeah, there we go. And use the left touchpad. Now it, you do have to, if you're using the the Windows Mixed Reality, you do have to use the touchpads. Unfortunately, the Steam VR integration for Windows Mixed Reality isn't that good yet. Um, I, I don't know. It, it works, but it never maps the controller right. And I really hey, wish that I had this on my sticks. Yeah, it's shut up, man. Over the city or anything. I'm talking to these fine folks. Um, all right, so let's let's move on here. Hey, Maxwell. Can hey, you Patrick me? Duffy. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. <laughs> all right. Got Welcome you, bro. to New Austin, Maxwell. Good to have you back. Um, I can't believe we were able to hijack this dropship from the Humix. Yeah, so, well, it's, it's pretty sweet, man. Movie? Let me guess. Real steel. Listen, I'd love to chat, but I need to get this dropship unloaded and then set the weapons testing area up below. Merrill's setting up the rest of this command post on the other side of the platform. Head over to her and she'll run a quick check on that pod systems. You go ahead and make sure your radar is working properly. That bad boy's gonna show you where Merrill is set up. Well, sweet. Okay, I'll see you back here later. All right. You got your buddy. Okay, so we do have our radar right here. That is our objective. Uh, now, I thought I had this turned off, so I am going to drop into the menu here real quick and go to settings. And, yeah, the helmet HUD's supposed to be turned off. I thought you didn't see that. Okay, so let's move on. Um, you want to get out of my way there, man? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Wow, man, loving the scale in here. And there you are. Hey, girl. Greetings, Lieutenant Maxwell. I hope you're as ready for action as you look. Oh, yeah. Your modified hover pod looks to be in good shape, but let's run a quick diagnostic scan just in case. I'm all for it. Looks like everything is fully operational. Lieutenant, it's imperative you remain aware of your pod's power core meter, the pod's hull, and your pod's munitions inventory. You'll need to use maintenance pads to recharge and restock regularly. Otherwise, the pod's capabilities will be diminished. One more thing, Maxwell. The building is full of computer terminals that need decryption keys to access them. I've placed several keys in your pod's inventory to get you started. I would suggest accessing these terminals as often as you can. Depending on the terminal's network security, you might be able to download valuable engineering schematics or information about the flaws in building itself. Understood? Yeah. We've made some modifications to your pod, so I would highly suggest you visit the training area. Just follow the ramps down to the deck below. All right, let's go get trained up. So... Hey, don't just stand there. Come check this stuff out. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm on my way, man. You know, chill. This thing like goes like three miles an hour. It's like riding a glorified Segway. Uh, um. Yep. Looks like I should have gone down the other side. So we'll just, like, you know, casually roll here. Um, I haven't found a way to boost. Uh, maybe that comes later. Ah, oh, there it is.
Nope, I for <laughs> forgot to turn off my notifications. Alright, let's see here. So, we got messages, and you know, for the purpose of the video, I've actually read all these. Uh, so, basically, you get the messages, and you're kind of getting some story build. You get it. So, let's run the training program here. Welcome to the HRF Tactical Training Program. All right. I'm Drill Instructor Wade, your virtual advisor. Look alive, soldier. You got it, Wade. Let's do this. Maggot. This program will pitch you against a variety of opponents. Oh, boost Any one of which may soon be presenting an actual threat to you in real world combat. Let's proceed. All right, fire weapons. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. So, all right, and, and you know, people have been talking about the tracking on Windows Mixed Reality. Now, this is obviously the ideal um, uh, situation to have your arms in, but so far, the, I, I gotta say, the tracking is pretty damn decent. I mean, head tracking, hand tracking, so I, I don't know what magic Samsung did because my older Windows Mixed Reality headset uh, did not track that well. I think it's the built-in Bluetooth, so... First up, the militia bots. Let's see how well you can shoot. Let's yeah, shoot them. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not bad. Now let's see how you deal with some hostiles face to face. Uh, yeah, so bring them. Like yeah, I'm gonna smack you with my you gun. Can't fight all the time. Remember to repair. Bring it. Let's change it up. Let's see you use your tactical skills. Okay, so I got Lieutenant, shields and EMPs. Bots. Soon you'll be able to install Sweet. new abilities into your bond. Now so, use your ultimate to finish those bots off. It's almost got like a mech warrior, like a mech kind of feel to it. Oh yeah, there we go. Pull up your weapon wheel and like a little give mini mag stick a shot. Yeah, bring up the boomstick. Uh, so. Alright. Alright, there we go. Boomstick. The more weapons you build, the Boom. more ways you can take out those pathetic humans. Yeah. Now let's put it all together. Dang it. No, come here. He's gonna smack you. Smack. Well done. Lieutenant. Yeah, got him. Remember, the HRF is with you. Lieutenant, Commander Winston is asking for you. Meet him by the elevator. Okay, I'm gonna just uh, slow roll over there. All right, I'll be I'll be there as soon as I can. Nice. I'm coming, buddy. At ease, Lieutenant. But don't get too comfortable. We have a tough job ahead of us. All right. We are standing on one of three reactor buildings that provide power to the mega city of New Austin. Cypher and his Humex soldiers have shut down this reactor and are taking measures to make sure we can't get it running again. Our mission is to infiltrate the building, undo any damage done by the Humex, and bring this reactor back online. In order to power up the reactor, we will need you to turn on vital systems, make repairs, and reboot critical functions. Do you understand what we need you to do, Maxwell? Yes, sir. You'll be using the high-velocity elevator behind me to navigate the reactor building. We've managed to pry open the doors of the elevator. 
We've also placed an access key in your pod's inventory that will allow you to travel to floor 76. Once there, you will need to reactivate the building's master elevator transport control. Yeah, master transport elevator control. Gotcha, buddy. Back online for the building, the lieutenant will still need access keys to gain entry to high security levels. These keys can be found on the security drones patrolling each floor. Find and destroy the security drone on a floor, and you'll find the access key for the next. Ah. One last thing, Maxwell. Your pod has the ability to inhibit all enemy scanners, so your presence will be largely unknown. However, nice. if you are sighted, then there's no doubt that you'll be attacked. Stay alert. All right, I got gotcha. you. Are you clear on how vital this mission is to our success, Lieutenant? Yes, now, sir. Head to the elevator and proceed to the next task. All right, let's do it. Let's check out our first real mission in the game here. Now that we are past training. <clears throat> Alright, what do you say, Maxwell? Think you can manage to find the on switch down there? Alright, then we go. Floor 76 and confirm. Alright. Here we are, floor 76. Something beeping. Damn Humex. Calibrate the air filtration system. Your pod shielding will protect you from these agents, so you can travel about freely. There are three good to know. valves located on the 76th floor. Find the valves and turn them on. Antibiological agents detected. Okay. Gotcha. Zero percent. Oh. All right. Well, that's not good. All right. Let's go. Oh, I see you up there. Yeah, I see you. You just keep walking. See if you can access any data from it. Humanoid presence detected. Resistance is the path. Resistance is futile. Human shell beyond repair. Threat eliminated. Oh, I died. No way. All right, here we go. Let's get recalibrated. Bring out the big guns and ah, I keep reaching for those sticks. Man, they really need to fix that. Not the devs. Uh, I think that's a Windows mixed reality problem. Alright, got a latcher bot there. Go. Take you 
you out. Human on the Took your head clean off, son. Collect your stuff there. Oh wait, how did I do that? I just boosted. Nice. Restoration unit. Download it so we can build shield restoration units for you at the command post. Wait, do I download that? All right, cool. Nope. Oh, what's that? Nice. So it looks like he's got some standard pickups here and there. So that's cool. Hey, did I miss that? There we go. Yes. Alright, alright. Biological scan. Uh, probably could have been a little more stealthy there. I died again so all right you know what I think we are gonna go ahead and stop here uh, yeah all right so man that was scraper first strike and I gotta say I'm digging that game it, it, it's definitely got a lot going on it's got some light RPG elements it's got some first-person shooter elements it's it, the graphics are good it's got a little bit of a building story so definitely got me hooked I'm, I'm, I'm for sure gonna be playing more of this game so I want to thank Labradex once again for sending this my way Hunter thank you for the t-shirt man um, I'm digging it for me guys i'm gonna grab this odyssey plus and go play some more games with it i'm not hating on it either so all right i'll see you guys next time this is vr gamer dude signing off